Pete Calandra here. This is the second video on Pro Tools Basics, and in this video, we'll focus on setting up our session before working on a project for the Audio MIDI 1 class. We'll set up some useful preferences to use in class, and also set up the toolbar in the edit window. Once you do this, every session should automatically open with these setups. Sometimes things change and they won't open up with these settings, so you should know how to go back and reset them. Let's go to Setup and Preferences. Make sure that the Display tab is selected. It's helpful while learning to have tooltips enabled, so let's check the Function and Details boxes. Next, Organize plugin menus by category and manufacturer. Category and manufacturer. Then in the color coding panel, check always display marker colors and MIDI note color shows velocity. On the default track color coding, select tracks and MIDI channels. And on the default clip color coding, select track color. I'll go over this more as we move forward in the class. Next, click on the MIDI tab. Under the basics panel, make sure that automatically create click track in new sessions is checked. Click OK on the bottom right hand side of this window or hit the enter key. The uppermost panel of the edit window is called the toolbar or the edit window toolbar. That would be this area up here. Knowing how to customize what you see is important as the screen size of a laptop is much smaller than the size of the IMAX used in our class and you may need to hide certain things to gain more screen real estate. So let's set up the toolbar for what we'll do in class. On the upper right hand side of the edit window is a downward facing triangle. Wherever you see one of these or an arrow, that means that there are sub menus or windows that can be accessed by clicking on them. So click on that triangle and we want to make sure that the zoom controls, transport, MIDI controls, synchronization, output meters, expanded transport, are all selected. We'll start to go over these in more detail in a future video. As a side note, you can right click anywhere in the toolbar to access these functions. We also want to enable a feature called key focus or keyboard focus. This enables shortcuts that are all single key commands. This can be activated by clicking on the button on the upper right hand side of the edit page that has a and Z in it. When activated, it turns amber. The area below the toolbar is the time base and conductor rulers. To the left of the bars beats ruler is another downward pointing triangle. Click on this. For our class, we only need to see bars and beats, minutes and seconds, tempo, meter, and markers. Next, we are going to create a click track. Everything we do in the MIDI world for this class is going to be based on the click track. In future sessions you create, Pro Tools should automatically add the click, but it is a good idea to know how to do it manually in case the preference we set up magically changes. So let's go to track, create click track. And there we have a click track. Let's set up our viewing options here. Right above the click track, there is a white downward pointing triangle. Click on that. In our class, we'll be making sure that the instrument inserts A through E, sends A through E, I-O, and track color options are selected. That's the basic setup for the MIDI portion of our class. The next video will go through some of what we set up in more detail. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.